Wednesday morning, everybody. I have done nothing to get ready for your visit, by the way. The kitchen counter is still full of our apparatuses for getting our breakfast together. We have our dog food over on the counters and the door to the laundry room is wide open. But hey, we're family, aren't we? We're cookie family. So I thought this morning I'd show you a quickie on um, how to stack your cookies. In fact, when I first started um, working with cookies, I would cross stack the trays like this while the icing was drying. Um, it was either that or completely cover the kitchen counter, the dining room table, whatever. So I started started doing this. Of course, the problem is twofold with this. First of all, there's no airflow between the lower racks, the lower cookie sheets, and the top ones. So the cookies are not drying evenly. In fact, you can really end up with some damage to the cookies by trying to dry them that way. The other problem is I would often miss set, you know, miss set a tray or they'd slide around. And uh, when that would happen and cookies would be crushed, it was just, well, it's something we don't like to talk about in this household. It was never pleasant. So I started looking for other ways to stack my cookies. And one of the first systems that I found that I used for, well, it will work for quite a while, was this um, portable collapsible, by portable collapsible, I mean all the arms on it go all the way up and then it, you can store it away nice and thin. But this little unit that has four trays so you can stack four sets of cookies. And there's a nice space of airflow there and pretty much it's a it's a steady unit. It, it you can trust it to hold the cookies evenly and, and not uh, tip over. But the problem with it is that while it holds four stacks, four trays of cookies, that's all it holds. And so if you do more than four trays at a time, um, it's not going to really work for you. And it's also um, fairly expensive for the limited amount of cookies that it will hold. So that's where we enter these great little clips. And you know, here's the thing, I never used these because I didn't really know about them. And when I did hear about them, I thought, oh, I don't know if those would work well. Well, somebody mentioned them not that long ago on my Facebook page, and so I got them to try them. And sure enough, they're like pretty much a simple but very cool invention. You just clip them on and your cookie sheet fits on nice and solid. Very, very steady, surprisingly. Here, let me get it on right. There we go, you just have to make sure you've got them put on right. And um, I wouldn't shake this if I didn't trust it with all those cookies on it. But see, it's really steady. I've stacked it up to six high with no problem at all. And so that's another possibility if you're looking for a way to stack your cookies. And I think you get a bag of these clips. And in a bag, there's like 26 or 24. 24 would make more sense since you put four in a tray, right? Okay, there you go. Okay, so that's another option. And then the other option that I really like, let me move these cookies out of the way. See, there you go. There's three, we're almost there. Okay, it's almost full. Is if you do more trays than that at a time, you might wanna consider stepping back into my other room. You might wanna consider looking into one of these half bun racks. Um, they're pretty awesome. I mean, they don't look all that great with your furniture, but I suppose if you put a flower vase on top, you could get away with calling it an end table or something. But it comes with these little wheels, which is really great because it's really a good roller. And so what I do is I move it into the dining room next to the table where I do my icing and I just take the trays off as I work with a set of cookies. And when I get them decorated, I move them right back in. And the other thing that I love using it for is when I'm in the kitchen, I just move it right here right there next to the oven I take a I have all my cookies cut the raw cookies and I take them out I put them in the oven when the oven bell rings I take them out and I put them back back on so it's just like I'm not moving my cookies any more than I have to and it works out great for that and if you have this if you have one of these trays let me just show you a couple things I do with mine the first is on the bottom rack I have two full cookie sheets, two full-size cookie sheets, and between them I keep all my parchment paper. So all I have to do when I need a new sheet of parchment paper is I just pull it out. Okay, oops, that camera is going every which way, isn't it? Sorry. Just stay with me on this, okay? All right, and um, 
So this is where I need a camera crew. That would come in really handy. I'm putting that down on my list. Okay, and so I keep those down there, the parchment paper, and then I usually have, if I'm not using all of the trays for cookies, I'll have some storage shelves too on there. Oh, look why those look like amazing cookie cutters and I believe they're called the Anitas. Oh, what a coincidence. Anyway, okay. So the other thing I want to show you, and this is for those of you who might already have one of these, is I just took some of these heavy duty um, ties and a oversized cooling rack, set it between my two support poles there, and now I have an extra rack on top. It's really awesome. What I do is when the cookies come out of the oven, I take them, I put them up here, I press the cookies flat, it's my little workspace, and then I put the cookies down into the next tray. There's a quickie on this wonderful Wednesday morning. Have a great day. Stack your cookies well.